Christian, so we're about halfway through the Wembley preparation week now. How would you describe th the way things have gone so far? Yeah, they've been good. We uh, obviously we we were in after the game, to do a bit of recovery, and uh, got all the all the the pains out of our legs and and the aches. So um, we're doing a bit more now, ball work, and, and getting ready for the big game on Sunday. How would you describe the mental state of the squad right now? Everyone's great. Yeah, they've got the opportunity to play at Wembley and and get the promoted to, to League Two. So mentally, everyone's everyone's on it and. and and can't wait to, to go out, out there on Sunday. Yeah, how much was the um, impressive performance and the result against Dagenham significant in terms of the confidence boost it's given this group? Well, yeah, I think it was great. Um, the semi-finals, they were two, two hard games and you never want to be knocked out in the semi-finals. The season's over then, so um, really thankful that we, uh, we won the game and we managed to get ourselves to Wembley with a great opportunity to, to play in the league which this club's never done before, so it would be absolutely brilliant. Yeah, you obviously scored in that semi-final second leg. Can you talk me a bit about your goal? Yeah, um, when you get Kane running in behind you, I know that he's going to he's gonna catch a ball because he's so fast. So um, we, uh, he got a little bit fortunate and uh, he managed to uh, pull the ball back to me and, and I managed to put it in the back of the net, which was a, which was a great feeling. Yeah, well, what was the feeling like when you have, you know, nearly 3,000 people in terms of home fans um, up on their feet cheering and it's you who scored the goal, what's that feeling like? Oh, it's unbelievable, yeah, you, those moments you really play football for um, and it's a moment, as soon as, soon as you finish, I, I'm sure you'll look back on and think, oh, that, that was an unbelievable occasion and a moment, so um, it was it was really nice, obviously, I had my um, family in the crowd as well and it's uh, just a real good moment for, for myself. Yeah, you've scored 26 goals so far this season. Um, are there certain ones that you look back seem more important than others, or do they all equal the same thing? They all mean the same thing, but a couple of them that really go in my memory are the, the ones that have won us the game, like the um, Aldi shot header, um, one quite recent I had, which was a winner. So the, those ones are really a, a really good feeling, and but they all they're all the same really. So um, I uh, it doesn't matter how they go in, so as long as they do. Definitely, and um, obviously looking ahead to uh, Sunday's final, Tranmere Rovers, you know, a big club, but uh, we've beaten them already this season, so just trying to repeat that again. Yeah, definitely, they're a great team. They've got um, some real experienced players. They've got Minolti at the back, and uh, I've watched games on the telly, and he just he's just ran the game with his experience, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game. We we know what they're going to they're going to bring to the table, so it's down to us at the end of the day. We're not really worrying about them, and we've got a go there with full of confidence and, and hopefully we get the win. Yeah, when you watch an opponent like McNulty or perhaps one of the other defenders like Michael Hiwakwi, um, do, do you almost like relish the opportunity that you may very well be playing against them um, at, at some point in the season? Do you look at that and think that's a challenge I really would like to uh, take on? Yeah, without a doubt, every time I, I watch an opponent I I'll definitely watch to see to see how they play and, and I always think how, how, I can, I, how I can hurt them. So um, obviously I watch the Aldershot games and enough I've watched how, uh, how they play and hopefully I can I can show that with my performance on Sunday. Yeah, and do you think uh, your goals makes you almost a target for them, almost like a, a threat that they know they've got to try and deal with? Well, I'm sure um, 26 goals, that doesn't lie, does it? Like, um, I've obviously been good in front of goal this season and um, they're going to have to watch me closely because obviously they know I can put the ball in the back of the net, but um, it's down to, to our players to set me up in the good areas and for me to create space for myself.